let's go over the structure of an animal cell. The cells I'm going over are eukaryotic cells, which contain a cell membrane, a nucleus, and organelles. Eukaryotes can be multicellular organisms or single-celled organisms. Organelles that we are going to go over are the cytoskeleton, vesicle, nucleus, nucleolus, centrosomes, ribosomes, endoplasmic reticulum rough and smooth, the Golgi apparatus, the mitochondria, the vacuole, centrioles, and lysosomes. Let's take a look inside the nucleus. The nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear envelope. The nucleus contains all the genetic information in the body, DNA. There are holes in the nuclear envelope, also known as pores. The pores allow large molecules to pass through the nucleus. The nucleolus in the nucleus is a dense region where RNA can be found for the process of assembling proteins. Let's talk about the endoplasmic reticulum, aka ER. The rough ER is covered in ribosomes. The rough ER transports proteins through vesicles. The smooth ER isn't covered with ribosomes and will break down drugs, alcohol, and other poisons, as well as make lipids. On to the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus is closely layered stacks of membrane enclosed spaces. It processes, sorts, and delivers proteins. It's like the post office of the cell. It will also store some protein for future use. The vesicle is a sac that will separate some materials from the rest of the cytoplasm and will transport these materials from place to place. The ER will create vesicles as it releases proteins so the proteins can be transported safely from place to place. The lysosome contains an enzyme that helps it defend a cell from foreign slash invading bacteria and viruses. It also has the job of breaking down damaged and worn out cells. Don't confuse the vacuole and the vesicle. The vacuole is just a fluid filled sac that is used for storage. Centrioles are a very important part of the cell during mitosis and meiosis. They create spindle fibers during those two processes just mentioned, and centrioles are made of microtubules. The mitochondria, known as the energy supplier of the cell, will take food you eat and convert it into energy for your body. It has its own DNA and ribosomes. Thanks for watching!